Hi guys, I'm Sean Wesley and welcome to my 2021 summer stretch. To start this stretch, we're going to be placing our hand forward and bending it over to one side to stretch out our shoulders. And we're going to be repeating that on the other arm. Now from here, you're going to, by doing two arm circles, make sure to make your shoulders rolling by feeling a deep stretch in your shoulders. Then after that, repeat that on the other side to make it balanced. Now from here, we place a hand behind our neck and we'll use the other hand to draw it. Using this pattern, you'll be able to feel a deep stretch in your neck and in your shoulders. Now you repeat that on the other side to feel the same stretch. Now you go into a wide stand and reach forward to go into a forward fold by placing your hands touching the floor you will be able to feel a deep stretch in your hips and in your lower back. Now we do some back stretches by going into a cobra pose. By going into a cobra pose, you need to arch back as far as you can and where you feel a stretch. From a cobra pose, you go down to exhale and you go back into a cobra pose with your knees bent. Then you try arching back for your head to touch your feet, but if you can't, you can follow on to the beginner's modification. Now you go down to grab anywhere between your knees and your ankle to do a bow pose. Try straightening up to feel a deeper stretch in your back. From a bow pose, you arch back to grab anywhere between your ankles to feel a deeper stretch in your back. This helps in strengthening and releasing all your spinal cord for flexibility. Now we go on our knees to do a nail bridge. So this nail bridge is basically a good stretch to stretch our back. I know that back stretches can be hard so you can take a break now by going into a child pose you can remain here for a longer time before we proceed into some leg stretches. Now to free up our hamstring, we need to go into a downward dog. You'll be feeling a stretch at the back of your thighs and you push forward your shoulders to feel a good stretch at your shoulders too. Now from here, we slide into a split. If you don't have your split, that's completely fine. I'm going to be putting in the link description how to get your splits. Now from here, we rotate our hips to do a middle split. If you don't have a middle split, I will link in a tutorial on how to do a middle split. But if not, you can just follow on to the beginner's modification. Now from here, you rotate your hips to do the other leg split and hold it to make it equal.
Now you bend in the forward leg to go into a pigeon pose. So the pigeon pose helps in freeing your hips and also your back ties. If you don't feel anything right bent here, you can bend your leg to about a 90 degree angle to fill in a deeper stretch. From here, you reach forward in the pigeon pose for a deeper stretch in your outer thighs. Now you repeat both stretches on the other leg to make it even. From a pigeon pose, you stand up to stretch out your leg by raising it as high as you can to fill in a deeper stretch. So you raise it as high as you can. If you can go into an over split as I am demonstrating, you need to hold it right there to fill a deep stretch in your leg. Now repeat by raising the other leg up to to feel a deeper stretch and to make it even. Now for our final pose, we are going into a forward bending and we are going to be crossing our hands over to fill in a deeper stretch in our arms. This is good for shoulder flexibility and also hamstring flexibility. So if you do like this video, please leave a comment, like, share with friends and subscribe to my channel for more stretch challenge.